right, just going to do a video of destroying this doctrine of devils, that calling upon God is work salvation, and that uh, prayer is a work, and you don't pray to be saved. It's only belief. You just have to believe. This uh, doctrine of devils that comes from the Ed Fenningerite cult and some other people out there. But here's how you just, this just is the hammer and the nail in the coffin of this doctrine of devils, that calling upon God is work salvation. Okay, go to Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. I'll show you what Matthew chapter 12, verse 34 says. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Okay? What's in a man's heart, he will speak it. Okay? Go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 13. You see this tie-in right there. Romans 10, verses 9 to 13. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him should not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich, upon, rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay? A person confesses with his mouth the Lord Jesus and calls upon the Lord because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. It's in his heart. Okay? He calls upon God because it's in his heart. It's a natural reaction to salvation. It's not work salvation. It's just part of salvation. And of course they try to say that that Romans 10 is for the Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. I mean, they're nuts. They're just, they're insane. And they try to compare it to, to uh, Joel 2.32 which is talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. Which is ridiculous. Not even, not, not even about the same thing. Because they try to say it's talking, calling upon God for physical salvation. Uh, there is no physical salvation in the Bible. Okay, the, the term physical salvation never appears once in the Bible. The term eternal salvation does appear in the Bible. It appears in he, uh, Hebrews 5.9. So it is a scriptural term. But there's no such thing as physical salvation. Again, these same heretics will try to explain away uh, dispensational salvation. Because when you show them scriptures that prove salvation has not been was not by faith alone in the Old Testament, they'll say, oh, it's about physical salvation. It's not about salvation of the soul. Even when you show them verses like Ezekiel 18, 20, which says, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. They'll say, oh, it's about physical salvation. Uh, no, it's not. It's about the soul dying. You know, whole other issue, but uh, it's not work salvation. Out of the man's heart, what's in his heart, when he believes in his heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, when he believes in his heart the gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, he'll confess it with his mouth. Out of the abundance of the heart, he believes in his heart, the mouth speaketh. He confesses with his mouth. He calls upon God. It's just that simple. It's not work salvation. It's biblical salvation. You come to the end of yourself and say, I'm a dirty, rotten sinner. I, I deserve hellfire. Okay? I'm only, only Jesus Christ saves me. I don't save myself. Jesus Christ saves me. So, just had to do that because that just totally destroys this doctrine of devils. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You call upon God because it's, because it's in your heart. You want to be saved. You, do, you want God to save you. You know, you believe in your heart, Jesus Christ, that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And you call upon him, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. That's simple. So, don't be deceived by this false doctrine of devils, that calling upon God is work salvation. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all our brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.